What's going on, guys? Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you hanging out waiting for the stream to start, I appreciate you. For those of you watching the replay, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we do these live streams and you can take part in the chat. Whew, been a busy day. Wife's out of town this weekend, like I was telling you guys yesterday. I just finished with my chicken in the oven, just finished laundry. Dishes are washed. Uh, I actively have my franchise league draft going on right now. We're in the fifth round. I'm next. I'm on deck waiting on Alex. He's taking forever. It's been like 20 minutes. It's been his pick. So at some point, you guys are going to be involved in my next pick. I'm looking for a tight end, um, which for those of you that don't know about my dynasty league, it's an IDP keeper league, 40 man roster. We have everything but O-linemen and punters. We have defensive tackles, ends, linebackers, corners, safeties, and so on. We draft rookies and free agents in a seven-round draft every year. We don't have an open free agency. The only free agency is the people we cut after each draft. That's the pool we get to pick from. You can't just pick up on people that you didn't draft throughout the year. Anyways, just to give you guys an idea so when the time comes, because I will at some point make my pick. I'm looking at Taysom Hill right now probably because he's eligible as a tight end. Have him back up Mark Andrews. Anyways, so – Quick, fast, and in a hurry, we're over 40 people. I am wearing Kenzo Ohm Eau de Toilette. Not the Eau de Parfum. I haven't opened that yet. I'm probably going to do that sometime in the upcoming week. With this one, it's very much got this like melon aquatic type of feel, but very piney green at the same time, and it's even a little soft and powdery. This is pretty good. This is a blue that's not every blue. Like I said, this is pretty good. I, I like this. I dig this quite a bit. And we have the infamous CK Summer, CK1 Summer 2014, supposedly like St. Bart's and Kenneth Cole Vintage Black and so on. And my bottle up from Joe Love finally came in. Pretty excited about that um, mango tie lime because my decant's running pretty low. So we're going to bust that open here in just a little bit. So let's see what you guys are wearing. I got behind pretty quick. My Celtics blue was gone. Jared, good to see you. Vintage green, man, it's good. Again, glad you got that Defy EDT that you liked it so much. I do. I'm going to be wearing that one probably in the upcoming week. I like it more than the Eau de Parfum for sure. Living Stromboli, I need to get that one day. Um, never smelled Marc Jacobs perfect, so I wouldn't even begin to know what would any fragrances that smell close to it. So, yeah, I can't help you out there. Uh, looking for something for my wife. Yeah, I have, I have. I'm not the guy to ask. I have no idea. Cats away, the mice will play. There you go. Big dog tuned in. Good to know. Amber Ud Carbon, Versace Mano Fresh Classic. Terry Diamez Otre Fresh. Light Blue Forever. Dan Not the Man, my favorite YouTube profile name. It's right here. I still haven't picked up all those fragrances from the stream with Justin. Debating on using them in a video. I just haven't done it yet. Almost Rocious Man. Uh, so the Intense is, uh, is uh, at the discounters now, too. Jacques Bogart Pour Homme. Chris, good to see you. Hit the like button. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, doing pretty good, though. The ratio is not too bad. Got a little more than half likes to viewer ratio. Pretty good so far. Can't complain. Salesman Rome getting broker by the minute. And, and look, I'm not trying to sell anybody on anything. I'm just my passion. And if you guys happen to make a happen to want to make a purchase based off of something I recommended, I try to have affiliate links so our channel can benefit a little, little bit from it. But I don't expect anybody to buy anything that I like. Come on now. We're all big boys and girls. We can make our own decisions. Celestio, my least favorite. And the only special Volcanus, the super chat king. My man, rocking Elysium Parfum Cologne. Excellent, excellent choice. Good to see you. Thank you so much for the kind of stereotypical $10 super chat for every live stream at this point. I appreciate you, man. Like I said, you're spoiling me, man. Thank you so much. Seriously, glad to see you. I hope you're having a great weekend. Excellent scent choice, by the way. LeBeau. Ooh. I mean, not really, but I mean, that's up to you to decide. It's a great fragrance. That's over what it used to be for retail. If it was still available today, that's probably what retail would be. Value is a perception that only you as the consumer can decide. Um, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't pay that for it personally, but to each their own. It's a great fragrance. I just wouldn't want to pay 140 for it. You know the drills I'm talking about. Kate Alfresan, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Sean's wearing it as well. Ganymede. Burberry Touch. God, I haven't worn that in so long. That's such a good one. Wild Mint. Speaking of stuff I haven't worn in a long time. 
Urban Man Elixir today. Gentleman Intense. One million Elixir. Mm, about right. Oh, that was previous conversation. Caron pour un, pour un homme le matin. Okay. Ten, Karen le matin. Okay. That's a long name. 80 here in Connecticut. Went shopping with the wives. Went nautical voyage. Love that apple. Big fan of it myself. I like to wear it just in the summer, though. We're not there yet. Office for men. Coach Green testers for like $48. Really? Hmm. With that said, might as well do the screen share and let you guys join in on it. So first things first, guys, you always have to do your coupon code so you can see what it's actually going to cost you. GNPL3, for those of you that didn't know, for 37% off. Let's see. I'll be damned. Coach Green. What the hell? I clicked on the fragrance. I know you guys saw me click on the fragrance. It disappeared. Here we go. Coach Green. All right, that's twice you guys saw me do that. 48 bucks. Well, I guess we're making a purchase on this stream before we uh, get into anything. Actually, yeah, because I don't want to. I'll do that after. I don't want you guys seeing my checkout information. <laughs> no offense, guys. Hopefully, you guys don't sell it out uh, while I'm here. Save me a bottle. Uh, if not, it's not the end of the world. But Coach Green, appreciate the info, Sean. 47 bucks after the code. Ganymede. Afternoon swim here in toasty South Boston. Don't you go bottom of the one gray. This very channel on YouTube. I appreciate that. That's pretty high praise. Thanks for input. I'm a bad boy cobalt lately. I'm really wanting that solid sea by untamed, but that price. Yeah, it's it's niche, <laughs> you know. Jared with ten dollars super chat. Rockin' Aventus. However, it's about to be Soul Cafe. By the way, regardless of what Ross just said, LMAO. Know that I bought my Greek lover strictly because of my man, Big Ross the Boss. I appreciate you. My Greek lover is awesome. That's the other one besides Salish C that I would recommend from Untamed Perfumes. Thank you so much for the $10 super chat, Jared. I appreciate that. Let's see. Well, it depends because I don't want to do the checkout info. Like I could technically stop the stream and go about it right now, but I'm going to want to shop. I don't want to just buy one fragrance. I'm going to want to shop a little bit. So. Since I, if I'm already making a purchase from them, I might as well get two or three other fragrances, right? So I'm going to do some shopping after. Uh, guys, please don't sell it out. <laughs> I'd love to get one. Um, that's, that's solid for a new release. And I'm quite eager because every Coach fragrance has been good for men. Not one of them is bad or mediocre even, in my opinion. But anyways, let's get into this first one, shall we? I think we'll go ahead and... Jump into CK1 Summer 2014. So I've been eyeing this one. 30 bucks on eBay. Been eyeing it for a while. Been wanting to get some of the older ones. It's, some of them are outrageous in price. I was actually surprised for the praise this one gets that it was only $29.90 before tax. It's actually very surprised. Smell it through the box. It does smell like St. Bart's. Get that free shipping. GNPL3. Just put it in the chat for you, my man. 199 Super Chat, Rasasi Hawass. I appreciate that Super Chat. Thank you, man. It's like Savage with Kiwi. Ooh, that sounds good. I like that. Women's Light Blue yesterday. Hear me out on Office Freight. No, I agree. It's awesome. <laughs> it's right here. It's awesome. The Intense is even better. Oh, heavy brother, what's going on, my man? Bois Imperial is my next summer buy. I do like quorum. I wore quorum like two weeks ago. I had a good shave and I was in a barbershop vibe kind of mood and I wore it the other night. So let's go ahead and throw this atomizer on, see what it's all about. I haven't re I've looked at the notes before, but I don't remember them specifically. That is beautiful, by the way. And for those of you who didn't know, these CK1 fragrances, you always have to, some assembly required, you have to install the atomizer. Love the color scheme. All right. There we have it. Let's give it a spray. Two good sprays. Soaked my hand down, but that's okay. Ooh, very juicy, fruity. Very tropical. Very tropical. Fitting for a summer flanker, right? 
that is familiar with St. Bart's. It is similar, but there is something different. It smells like it's got the tequila booziness, even the salt, but it feels more aquatic. And like there's a different tropical fruitiness. It's not as sweet. This is good. This is good. If you like fragrances like Vintage Black from Kenneth Cole and St. Bart's, this is going to be redundant, but it's a little bit different. Whereas those are pretty much identical to each other. This is extremely similar, just a little bit different. Like the fruits are probably different with like, I believe it's probably got the same booziness and salt. There's something different, like a green citrus that's not bergamot and not specifically lime. It might still have lime, but it's got like this green citrus feel. Hype justified on this one. CK120, summer 2020, ah, 2014, tongue twister. It definitely is some good stuff. Tap that like button, Ross. Ross out to work already. We have the easy part. Slap it like <laughs> it owes you money. 10-4, man. Jeffrey, what's going on, my man? Glad to see you. Never seen a green bottle like that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. For those of you that didn't know, this is CK1 Summer 2014. This fragrance is nine years old as summer rolls around. It was bottled at this time back in 2014. So good to see you. St. Bart's got a flanker just now. Seaside. Yeah, I, I saw we uh, like two, two or three streams ago we looked at it. Two streams ago? Yeah. We looked at it here on live. Purple Ascento Crystal Bottle. Tony Iomi. Hit that like button. Let's show some love to Ross. Appreciate that. Electimus Imperium. So let's cross-reference these notes, shall we? I have a Parfumo pulled up. I haven't clicked on anything yet. So let's go. Whoops. Accidentally tapped too many ones. Here we go. So, fresh citrus, fruity, aquatic, and synthetic. Yes and more yes. Lime, grapefruit, melon, and lemon. It must be the melon that I'm getting. Tequila, cypress, white freesia. That makes sense because it does have a white floral feel to it. I don't get much green. Okay, so the reason I'm thinking green citrus could be the melon and the cypress making that. That's, I, that's what makes sense to me from what I'm seeing here. Base notes, cedar, coconut water, and sugar. Still a little salty, though. As it's settling, this is superior to St. Bart's, which I never thought I would say because I love St. Bart's. This is really, really good. Oh, this is so invigorating. Damn. This is great, and I'm sure it doesn't last long. I never get more than two or three hours out of these CK1 summer flankers, but... Well, I take that back. Summer days, I get like four hours, but this is great. This is one of the best tropical scents I've ever smelled. Very beach vacation. Extremely beach vacation scent profile. <sighs> yeah, I'm digging this. This is really good, guys. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to be wearing this a lot this summer. Probably to the gym more so than anything um because i typically during this time of year i wear these to the gym or to run errands because they're short-lived i like the weaker fresher stuff for that let me see no no i bought this from ebay this is this is very this is nine years old yeah i bought this from ebay you're not gonna find this at discounters and Jim, what's a good workout tune? Uh, depends on your taste in music, because I like I like a variety of new metal and rock and different hip hop, Texas, Southern Texas rap stuff. I'm, I like a variety of things. Um, you can always check my um, my playlist on Spotify. Check my link tree. My Spotify workout lit playlist is in there. <clears throat> Let's see, K Torson Loco from Michael Malo, Upscale Fresh. There you go. Um, it's more like YEDP. I smelled it once at Nathan's for car. I don't have it, but I, I did spray it on my hand. It smells like YEDP, which YEDT 2022 is kind of close to YEDP, more so than the original formula. So pretty redundant, I'm sure. 
that Elysium Parfum Cologne blind buy smells good, but not too thick. Why would you blind buy such an expensive fragrance? <laughs> I'll keep trying it out. It is really good, but I, again, don't blind buy expensive fragrances, you know, because I don't want you to be surprised in the event that you don't like it and you're like, damn, it's not 230 good. It is 230 good if you smell it first and you're like, yep, it's worth my 230. That's why I always encourage, I'm not trying to criticize you, I'm just be, shooting you straight. I would never, ever, ever recommend not sampling an expensive fragrance before you just outright buy it. I mean, even this was 155 and I got a decant first. Designers, sure, you want to roll the dice, roll the dice, especially when they're at discounters. I blind buy shit all the time when it comes to designers. Niche, I typically try to sample them first because you don't want to spend that money and then not like it, which I'm sure it'll grow and it's magnificent, but I don't want you to feel bad about your purchase. But to avoid that, sample. Don't get too, too giddy and say, I ah, screw it, I'm going to just buy it. Shit like this happens when you do that. Hollister Wave X tomorrow. Um, fragrance Buy, Fragrance Net, Kingdom Fragrances, Aura Fragrance, eBay, Amazon. There's a bunch of places. There's a bunch of places, my man. Loving these fragrance tournaments, something new. What's well, actually a filter on TikTok? I've been seeing Andrea doing them. I'm like, ooh, click use this filter and, and do it. It randomly generates the fragrances. I didn't pick, I didn't pick those. It just randomly gave those to me. No, I have 2014, 18, 19, 20, 21, and summer days, which is 2022. 14, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's the years I have, and this is 14. God, this is good. So good. Not going to lie, family, I like seeing these membership tags. We in here. Anyone that's trying to join the squad, check out the info in the description. You won't regret it. I agree, because Monday, uh, the designer giveaway for the $9.99 tier, the all-star tier and above, uh, DRM Sport 2021. That will be that fragrance buy package will be here Monday. So uh, yeah, there's that. I'll have that, and then for the All Star tier and above, bottle of evening mystique. If you want to have a chance at that, definitely click join at the bottom. Check out the perks and see if one of those tiers are for you. That's what makes it smell a little sour at the top. I've actually eaten a star fruit. You can get them at the um, the Kroger. It's near my near where I live. I've, I've eaten them last summer. I had a star fruit because I was just curious. It's, it's sour. It's a sour citrus. Definitely checking out that. Yeah, this is it's probably the best one. I really like 2021 and summer days. 2018 was phenomenal. Um, and then this one's up there. This is top two or three of the ones I have. Might even be the best one. It's shit. It's good. This might be the best one. It's really good, Jeff. Random question, which of fragrance is the best to get? That depends on what you want. <laughs> uh, I would encourage you to watch my top five in my collection. That's my five favorites of what I have. I put that video out like three or four days ago. I would encourage you to check that out. I have not. I have not. Interested in CK All, that is fantastic. And the orange one, which is Summer Days. Haven't ran into it. Oh, I see CK All all the time. I saw 200 mLs at Burlington the other day. I saw a few of them. Like I even grabbed it and showed it to the camera in yesterday's, yes, day before yesterday's video. I am. Paul Wallen, Chameleon Air, Get Your Mind Corrects, one of the greatest albums of all time. <laughs> it's funny that you say that. You try the new Elysium. It will be here on Tuesday. And I purposely did not watch Justin's live stream because I did not want to be influenced and hear what he thought because he got it before me. They waited. So I got Isola Blue before him and he got Elysium O Intense before me. They sent his package with the two together. Mine are in two separate packages. So, yeah. So, I didn't watch it. I'll watch it after because I'm going to do a live stream first impressions too because I'm super excited about it. I do not want to know what Justin thinks because Justin easily influences me. I trust Justin. No, I haven't. I've been eager to get my nose on that one though. Yeah, there you go. 10-4, appreciate that. Coach Green. Yeah, yeah, we looked at it a little while ago. Stop trying to get everybody to buy it out because I'm <laughs> shopping after Rick. <laughs> so, yeah, we we looked at, we pulled up Fragrance Net because somebody said, Sean, Sean said it at the very beginning of the live stream. We pulled it up and looked, 47 bucks. That's crazy. If it doesn't sell out while I'm in this live stream, I'm going to buy it after the stream. So, try to tell y'all no regrets. There we go. It'll grow on me, I'm sure. Yeah, I can't imagine it won't. It's really good. 
Never else was able to catch the stream. How are you, my man? Also, send a day CK. Oh, excellent. Picked up 200 ml for 20 bucks at Burlington. Not bad at all. It's a great cheapy gym. It's great. Shout out to my man Joey for recommending it to me. I got it a few days after he brought it up in a live stream we were on. And I've been digging it. I wear it every week. I've worn it at least once a week since I got it. Kareem, good to see you. Smell of truth spotted, indeed. Let's see. So you're going to click the join button, or you can click the link that's pinned at the top of the chat, and it'll bring up all of the options, for, and you can read the perks and what's offered at different tiers. And if any of it sounds interesting, you can go from there. If not, I appreciate you at least looking into it and being here. It, now, the giveaways are for United States only. So I'll let you know, based on your name, I'm not sure if you're in the States or not. Just calling a spade a spade here. Uh, so just to give you a heads up, the designer and niche giveaways are for United States only. Let's see. Afnan is honestly surprised me. Very cheap. I agree. Them and Paris Corner are like my two favorites. I got asked that in yesterday's stream. They're pretty much my two favorites. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to hear nothing from nobody because Chris Fragmental put out a review on that and Spice Bomb Night Vision Eau de Parfum, and I'm not watching them because I know I'm going to buy them, and I don't, I don't want to know. My money gets jealous. Exactly. Shut up, Kareem. Don't tell me. <laughs> I want to be blind. I want. I like to be blind. Donovan, good to see you. <clears throat> the Merchant of Venice is an extremely underrated house. Kate Alfreson and Oud for Glory are great Latafa picks. I agree. Only to have, yeah, of course. If yeah, see, like if I was if I wasn't so honest to a fault when I saw Sean's comment, I would have not pinned it and not acknowledged it and just kept on going to distract people, but. I want you guys to know about the deals. That's why I'm pinning this stuff. Because I, I glance at the comments before I pin them. I know what I'm pinning. <laughs> so I hope I'm able to buy it by the time the stream ends. We'll see. Shh, quiet. Ah, ah, going away from that. Good to hear. <laughs> Messing with your green, but I want to be blind. I don't want to be influenced. You're a friend of mine. I, I believe you. So I don't want to know what you think about it. Not till after I smell it. That's when I just want to, I want to be surprised by it. Because I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be great. Ooh, I would go with 1 million lucky. Main things to consider a performance, regardless of how it smells, right? Not as important. <laughs> I got to keep it pushing after that one, man. Because uh, I don't know what it's going to do on you. How it, they perform on me is irrelevant to how they're going to perform on you. And that's the God's honest truth. You need to figure out which one smells better to you. That's the most important thing. You you should always want what smells best, first and foremost. I know that feeling, bro. Hang in there. Yeah, exactly. Spice Bomb Gang, what's going on, Rocky? Uh, so one person wins each of them. There's only two bottles being given away, one in the designer giveaway and one in the niche giveaway. One person wins. It's, it's going to be a wheel spin in a private live stream for members only at the last weekend of the month. <clears throat> we're about to bust it open i love it I, i've gone through almost an entire decant of it we're about to jump into that one here in just a second i'm a big lover of ckb and i'm not a fan of ckb i my wife ended up taking it no i know you didn't know that's why i always like shh, shh. i did that to joe when bad time charlie came out dry down low down he was going to tell me about how good it was i jumped on the stream with him I'm like shh, my bottle doesn't get it for two more days shut up <laughs> i don't want to know so there's some good picks. No, uh, it's going to be the weekly rotation tomorrow. So it's it's easy to not think about Mother's Day because my mother's in a totally different state and my wife is at her grandmother's with my father-in-law this weekend. So the mothers in my life are not around. <laughs> it's just me kicking it this weekend. I've never I've never dealt with Scentbird. They've reached out to me three different times over the years of me having this channel and I've turned them down. It just didn't seem it just didn't interest me. Oh, that's talking about Kareem. Yeah. Yeah, Kareem's got a new video out. I haven't. I heard it's very vetiver dominant and that it's really good though. Yeah, hell yeah. It's amazing. It is amazing. I love it. You can try explore put yes and yes. Eventually I'm gonna get my nose on both of those. There you go. On the new Killian. No, no, I've been seeing stuff about it, though. Let's see. Pull up Coach Green came up to 53. GNPL3 is the 37% off code. Try that one, my man. Center of the day is Hawass. 
Mika Leaf Red Col Colorado. That's a good one. I'm telling you what, Gin Tonic's great. I wore that yesterday. It performed it, it a full wearing. It lasted longer on my skin. I was surprised. The test sprays were doing about six hours. I got like eight hours. Now it was softer for the last two or three hours, but it wasn't quite a skin scent. But man, that's such a good fragrance. Appreciate that, Anthony. Thank you, man. Uh, probably. It would have. I'd, I'd have to. I'd have to smell it at minimum. <sighs> that would be great. But if if that does happen, it's going to be a few years from now. I appreciate you as well. Sin of the day is Lacoste Blanc. Excellent. Uh, just sampled Bois Imperial one time. Uh, from Justin with Justin in a video just once. I definitely want it though. I would definitely go one million lucky, like I was saying earlier. I because I go just based off a of scent. I have a dec I have a decan of Invictus Victory Elixir. I only I tried Victory once on skin at Sephora and it didn't impress me, so I didn't buy a bottle. I need to revisit it. I'm debating on grabbing a bottle since they've been at discounters for a while. It's okay. It just didn't compel me then because it was still at retail at the time. But um, yeah, one million lucky for sure. That's one of my favorite sweet fragrances. Serge off Neo, good to see you, Spencer. Uh, it literally just worked. It literally, literally, man. So let me go ahead and show you items in bag. Okay. See how right there it says thirty-seven percent off your entire order. <laughs> That's the code that I put in on screen at the beginning of the stream. So yeah, it definitely does work, my man. It does work. You're doing something wrong, but it does work. All right, let's bust this open. Where's all the tape? All right. Try not to cut yourself, Ross. Right? All right. And it's got a little pull tab on top of that. All right, so it's got two samples in here as well. So for those of you that don't know, Joe Love is a side brand for Joe Malone. This is this is her other brand. Orange butterflies and carded and green orange and coriander. So each order comes with two samples, and that was I forgot which ones I picked, but I have two other samples. So here's one of the samples. That's what the bottle looks like, apparently. This is orange butterflies. So we'll deal with that maybe in a minute. And then here's the other sample. Green, orange, and coriander. They had a bunch to choose from. I just randomly picked them based off of the names. Bitter, bitter green, orange, black pepper, coriander seed. It's probably great because I'm just going off of... When I say it's probably great, it's because this is great. Don't just believe the shit you're going to read from these random ass anonymous fucking people on the internet. Try this fragrance. Oh, my God. Beautiful green mango zest. Oh, I love it. Like I said, Hillary Hills and Yara sent this to me. For those of you that didn't see that stream, we did a two-part stream that was numbered. I just had to, you know pick out the notes and everything. This was the one I fell in love with. This is the one I bought a bottle. I paid 155 US located overseas. This is mango tie lime. I bought the hundred ML because this is incredible. Incredible. There's all of the ingredients, everything. This is fantastic. Magnetic cap too. Hallelujah. Got to love a magnetic cap. Atomizer lined up. Good to go. Oh, beautiful. Saw that? Oh, yeah. Great atomizer. This is one of the pickups of the year for me, guys. This is this is great. This is phenomenal. This is the star of this show. That's why I saved the best for last, basically. CK1 Summer 2014 is great. It is great. I'm super happy to add it to my collection. More excited about this because I'll just random spray on my hand almost every night going through this decant. It's a beautiful green mango smell. It's a little spicy. There's this sharpness to it. It's juicy at the same time. I love this fragrance. I was so excited for this bottle to come in. They have 50 mLs. 
They have samples you can buy. Um, just know that you're buying it from overseas. They have a website for different countries. And processing time takes up to 21 days if you're interested in getting this. So I had to wait about two, a little over two weeks ago. I ordered this roughly two weeks ago, and it came in to yesterday. Yeah, yesterday the package came in. Because if you read some of the reason I said don't list, believe everything you read on the internet is because some of the shit is like it's awful, it's super synthetic, it wishes it could be this Joe Malone fragrance. Fuck them. This is great. Now, look, not everybody's going to feel that way. I get it. This is just me and my opinion and the way I feel about it. But again, don't just go off of me falling in love with this fragrance and don't just go off of the bullshit that you'll read about this fragrance online. Try it for yourself. If anything about this, when you see the note breakdown, or anything I have to say about it, or whatever, anything interests you, sample. Sample, sample, sample. Because you're not going to find it discounted anywhere. I don't think, anyways. I bought it directly from Joe Love. Hillary actually sent me the link so I could pick it, so I could scoop it up. <sighs> so good. So, so, so good. I'm behind on the comments. We'll do the split screen here in just a second. For those who aren't aware, Big Ross currently sitting at 70,100. It's 109, I think, subs. We're trying to make that 72K real quick. Make sure all of you are subbed and, of course, share with a friend. So if they're in this live chat, they are subbed. But there are people watching that aren't subbed that can't chat, I'm sure. Uh, but I appreciate you, my man. I hear many talk about it. What are your thoughts on Artisan Blue? Oh, it's funny that you say that. Um, that's my favorite John Barbados fragrance. And every, every year in my cheap spring video, that fragrance is in there. It's named incorrectly. It's colored incorrectly because it's super green, beautiful, fresh green fragrance. One of my favorite spring. It's one of my two or three favorites for spring ever. Cause I like very green, fresh, spicy type of, uh, fragrances for spring. I love it. Big, big fan of it. Big, big, big fan. Never works for me. I wonder why Nick, cause it, it's working right now for me. So, dude, got just got Polaris from Issy Miyake in the mail today. So good. Smoky, smooth, vanilla, amber woods. Like the stream. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Just blind bought cool water, grapefruit, and sage. Really looking forward. It's easy going. Hard not to like that fragrance. Gentleman Shop has a huge deal going on. They sure do. They got a great sale going this weekend. It actually is pretty good, Kareem. I actually did a full review on it last year. There was when I first got it, I was wearing it pretty repetitively for about the first three weeks. Yeah, yeah, this is this is amazing. If I wasn't already wearing Kenzo Ohm Eau de Toilette, I would absolutely. I'm gonna wear Mango Thailand tomorrow. No doubt about that. Ross recommended for sure. Defy EDP to the bar last night. Curious in the EDT now that you featured in Trash Treasure. I like it more. Because it's more of a blue fragrance, but it's not like citric aquatic blue. It's not a, a light, even though it's light blue juice, like this is more of a light blue freshy. It gets related to this most. Similar, but not the same. Definitely not the same. So I really wish I knew about the coupon. Oh, damn. Sorry to hear that, man. What's going on, Hidden Gems? Good to see you, my man. So with that... Let's go ahead and jump back to Parfumo, and I'll show you guys the notes on Mango Thai Lime. This is it's so good. Obviously, it's mango and lime are the, the central focuses. I love this fragrance so much, and it's not anything new. It's been around for it's since 2012. Decent ratings here. The shit ratings I'm talking about is on Troll Grantica, that you know, secondary dump on the internet in our fragrance space. It's the second worst place in the fragrance community. You guys know what the first is. Let's see. Citrus, fruity, fresh, sweet, and spicy. Mango, lime, black pepper, and you get all of that at the top. Mint, freesia, vetiver, white thyme. So the mintiness adds this green feel. Of course, it adds to the freshness. And this freesia almost adds like this watery tone to the white floral, the, the white floral feel that it gets. It's not heavily white floral, but there's like this breezy, lightly watery, ozonic feel, light flower touch. It's clearly the freesia. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And look, when you see black pepper, don't think it's a hefty dose. It's just enough to make that citrus and fruitiness at the top very zesty. Sharp and zesty. It's not too peppery. Like, it's not tickle your nose peppery. Jesus, this is so good. God, I love it. I love it so much. 
so, so much. So they have a new release, by the way. Users who like mango Thai lime or a shot of Thai lime over mango often also like Bergamato di Calabria, which I have sitting over there. That's one of the five Aqua de Parma fragrances I have not unboxed here on camera yet. Wulong Cha. What else? Orange Sanguine. Okay. Italian Blood Orange, Spanish Bitter Orange, Red Mandarin. Oh, shit. I might need that. Never looked at this one before. Chinese Geranium, Madagascar Pepper, Egyptian Jasmine, Australian Sandalwood, Brazilian Tonka Bean, Texas Cedar. I bet I would like this. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Glad I clicked the users also like this button. Let's just leave that up. Let's end this split screen. I might look. That might be one of the fragrances I buy in this fragrance net order with Coach Green if Coach Green's not sold out. God, this is so good. So, so good. I encourage you guys to get a sample of this and try it. I'm a big fan. So, once we get closer to summer, I'm going to do, I'm going to revamp my tropical vacation fragrance video. This is going to be on it. This is probably going to be on it too. Both of these are going to make it. I promise you. Then I'm going to do a best coconut fragrance video. But I'm waiting until I get close to the summer because we're still in the spring. It's it's mid-May. You know, it's mid-May. We need to get into June before I'm going to do these summer vacation, summer vacation, tropical type videos. I'm doing summer fragrances I'm excited for and stuff like that because we're getting closer. But the very specific tropical stuff, we're going to wait till we get into summer. But Guys, it's so good. If you like mango fragrances, which is very distinctive and very specific, this is really, really good. Really, really, really good. Quick ratings, in fact. CK1 Summer 2014 First Impressions rating. Whew, this, is, this is very good. I'm not going to sit here and call it incredible. But damn, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm kind of torn between 7.5 and, and 8. I guess we'll split the difference at a 7.75. I don't do quarter points too often. This one falls in between very good and great. Because I don't know if I'm quite ready to, to dethrone St. Bart's. I don't know which one I like better. I got I to gotta do some full wearings on this one, but it's close. It's really, really close. But it is redundant to that. This one's a little bit different, though. 7.75. And this, I mean, this is outstanding for me. So you guys know we're going 9, 9.5 range. Yeah, 9 out of 10. I love this fragrance. It's outstanding. I love it. It's one of the best mango-based fragrances, one of the best tropical fragrances, one of the best citric fruity fragrances that I own. I'm so glad I have a bottle of this now. I'm so glad I tried it first. Thank you, Hills and Yara, if you happen to see this, which I will thank them personally after, for turning me on to this fragrance with sending me these random decants because this is the only one out of the like 25 decants they sent me. This is the only one I bought a bottle of. Should tell you. And there was a bunch of great stuff that we smelled. And there's others I'm interested in getting a bottle of. But this was I need to get a bottle sooner than later. And I jumped on getting it. It's that good. Close this knife. See what's shaking in the chat with you guys. We'll hang out for a little bit longer. Let's see. Sample. Never gave much thought. Pre-ordered the Pasha. New Pasha fragrance. Okay. Come on, Ross. Tell us what you really think. For I'll fuck for granted. <laughs> it's a shithole. It's basically a subreddit. They, they, it's free for all over there. Look, I'm all for free speech, but there's there's a way to tear down a website and make it useless, and that's pretty much what's happened over the last couple of years. I mean, just read the comments. People bitch about the trolls on there every time a new fragrance hits. It gets shit on, downvoted, hate, smells like this, that, and the other. It's not just what they've done to my two fragrances that are on there. It happens all the time. That is an absolute shithole. Miguel Matos, any of you editors that see this, because I'm, I'm friendly with Miguel Matos. It's nothing personal against you guys, the editors. It's just, it's ran. It's not ran. It's not ran at all. They write their articles and they don't do shit about the people that actively ruin it for the good people that are going out there to just seek real opinions, like genuine thoughts, and get some ideas because... More people blind buy fragrances these days, and there's people that actively make it difficult for others. That's why I call it what I call it, Troll Grantica, because it is. It absolutely is. It could be so much better. That's why I support Parfumo and iFragrance, and when I need to, 
base notes. Now, look, there are some times I still have to go over to Troll Grantica. It is what it is, but I prefer to not support the platform because it has turned into a much less full, much, much less useful tool than it used to be. Because these are just tools. They're information. They're, they're there for information. <laughs> and if they were to regulate it a little bit more to sort out the useless senses bullshit, I mean, if people are being genuine, let them be genuine. Free speech, say whatever you want to get it. But just random bullshit that makes no sense and has nothing to do with what's going on. Pull that shit off of there. Make it better for people that are actively trying to seek out information. That's why I say that. That's exactly why I say that. That's how I feel. That's why I feel that way. So I have no problem saying it. They're both good. Sounds fine. As long as I don't want fresh. 10-4. Steven, good to see you. You haven't gotten into LT. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't gotten around to any. There's a bunch of them I want to try. Like the one that smells like Aventus, I've been wanting to try. Musk Imperial, I think it is what it's called. Uh, Cidre Atlas. The Cedar Fragrance. The aquatic, I, I believe that's what it's called. I've wanted to try that one as well. Do you research on that house? Dark smoky wood and burnt sugar. Sold me on that mango. Have you tried mango on skin yet? Talking about this one? It's on skin right now, and I went through a decant already. Like I'm going into this bottle, I had already spent, I already sprayed it like a dozen plus times. Orange sanguine has the most realistic orange note. Smells like orange juice. Oh, yeah, I really need to try that. The note breakdown looks incredible. It looks amazing. Uh, not where I just sprayed it down. This was all test sprays because this was almost full, this decan. It was more than halfway. It was about three-quarters of the way full, about three ml, I would say. And I got roughly an ml, maybe a little bit less left. And that's when I was like, ooh, I need to go ahead and buy a bottle. It's all been on my arm and my hands. <sighs> so good. Jesus. Juan, what's going on, big dog? Good to see you. Trying to make some fucking content over here, right? <clears throat> Mango skin from Wilhelm Perfumery. Oh, okay, that's what you're asking about. I haven't tried that one. I, I'm on a mango kick right now. Uh, probably not. It's a CK1 summer flanker. They typically don't perform. I typically get two to three hours out of them, and I'm sure that's going to be the case here. That smells really good, though. It's got a zest to it. More so than mango Thai lime because that pepper is starting to calm down. But you're going to get more development out of something like this. It's a Joe Malone fragrance. It's called Joe Love, but it's Joe Malone's house. It's another Joe Malone house. She's the perfumer. Yeah, sure do. At the top, very fruity. Love me a good make. Me too. Me too. Oh, God, yeah. Way better. Look, I like Polo Blue Gold Blend too, but it's not on the same level. This is this is definitely a niche fragrance. The quality is definitely better here. Yeah, for sure. I love Polo Blue Gold Blend. I love it. It was my favorite until the Parfum came out in the line, but I'll take this over it every time. Uh-oh. Beautiful bald bastard is here. Speaking of people that are used to dealing with trolls, Chad, what's going on? $10 Canadian. Fragrance trolls are super sad. Because it's fragrances, not super manly. Yeah, this isn't the most masculine hobby. It's definitely not. Chad, it's good to see you, my man. We haven't talked in a little while. We need to do something together. It's been a while since we did any collaboration. So any of you not familiar with Chad, Chad is, this was the cheapy king for years and years. And he then dubbed me that, but I think it's a shared crown. Personally, I've been watching Chad for you know, a decade now. I've done many collaborations with him. His channel's right there in the name of Gentleman's Journey. Go check out Chad if you haven't. Sarcastic, pain in the ass, beautiful ball bastard. I love Chad. Thank you for the super chat, too. You didn't have to do that, Chad. It's good to see you, though. In fact, if you got a few minutes, I usually do about an hour. You want to jump on, hang out for a little bit? People rate a perfume before it's released. That's part of the problem. That's part of what I'm talking about, Enrique, for sure. Got off heading to do last minute mom shopping. Uh oh. Got to take care of mama. I'm assuming we're talking about Brittany. Got to get her son. I would I would think it's going to be a great Mother's Day, my man. So for those of you that don't know, Juan and his wife are wonderful humans. Got to spend some time with them a couple weeks ago in Chicago. <clears throat> so it was it was a great, great weekend. Good to see you, Juan. Give the wife a big hug for me. Yeah, they troll too much in there. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Gentleman's Journey. Chad's in the house. I'll say the name. 
but strange how it's on fragrance net but nowhere else oh yeah message me after <laughs> if it's something you know i really want let's not sell it out because coach green's probably sold out now i don't read random ass people's thoughts on fragrances for granted because a bunch of negativity i it's not even that it's the ratings that are just disappointing i don't give a shit i'm just looking for a note breakdown that's literally all i use these sites for I like to smell it. That's why I like to go in so blind to everything. Smell it, and I like to cross-reference what I think's in there versus what's actually in there. It's a little game I play with myself to try to develop my nose and get better. So that's all I use these sites for. And then on occasion, if it's like, on the, like, what is this? It smells familiar. I'll go see what others are saying it smells like to get an idea. But they've even ruined that, the smells like section. As far as what people are writing in their written reviews and stuff, it's just entertainment at that point because – I would say 50% of it is people being genuine and trying to talk about their experience. And then there's just bullshit and people troll each other on there. They tag and talk shit to each other. It's, it's ridiculous. It's turned into a glorified subreddit. It really has. It's unbelievable. What's going on, Tyler? Good to see you, my man. Simply fragrance in the house. Let's see, I was going to purchase some Byredo fragrances. What would you recommend? I was leaning towards Sundays. I've heard good things about it. It smells like cotton candy. Uh, the only one I own is Oud Immortel, which is a, a lemon oud fragrance. Very wearable, warm weather oud. It's got a beautiful lemon cello note. Um, great performer. That's the only one I have. I've tried Bald the Freak. Wasn't a big fan of it. Um, Mojave Ghost, I've only sampled on paper, and it's only once. So I don't really remember the scent profile that where. Well, Tobacco Mandarin was phenomenal. I sampled that with Justin. That's, that's a banger. Um, I'm trying to think if I've tried any other ones, but tobacco mandarin is phenomenal, but depending on where you are, it's warm weather. Now it's not really the most ideal time for that. Uh, at least once a week, the last couple of days, I went like three days in a row to dip. Cause I got a bunch of rack stores. I only have one Marshall's, but I got a ton of Ross's and I got three Burlington's and two TJ Maxx's. So I got a bunch of those to work with. So I hit different ones in different parts of town. Jimmy, what's going on? Coming over. Came over from heading your name at this new fragrance fraternity. He was praising about how you turned him on to Aqua, Aqua Sensei. Who are you talking about? I appreciate that. Yeah, that's like the fragrance most synonymous with me. More than my own creations. <laughs> People know me for Aqua Sensei Blue. I love that fragrance. Good to see you, though, Jimmy. I haven't seen you in a while. Lomo team is gorgeous. So it's a beautiful ginger and kind of a dusty rose. It's beautiful. Sad that they discontinued it. Right there. It's right here. Yep. Lomo team. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Oh, so intoxicating. So the reason I have all these fragrances right here that you can't see, okay, for those of you that didn't see it, I did a stream with Justin the other day and we did our top three designer houses that we have the most fragrances from. And I did YSL, Armani, and Dolce & Gabbana, and I had 49 fragrances for that. He had 35 from Tom Ford, Cartier, and who else did he do? I forgot. It's on the tip of my tongue. It'll come to me in a second. But we had uh, 84 fragrances total. We did like two and a half hours. It was strange. The only one there, fragrance net. Who knows if they really even have it? I was wearing Evening Mystique Friday night, having dinner with my daughter. I got compliments, and two people asked me what I was wearing. That's awesome to hear. Mike, I'm glad you're having some positive experience with, with you know others complimenting you on the fragrance. I'm glad you're enjoying it and uh, wearing it out to dinner. And, the, you know, that's a lot of what it was intended for, the situations you're wearing it in. It's, you can wear it during the day. I wear it during the day. But that's definitely what it was intended for. I'm glad you're getting some enjoyment and some wear out of it, my man. Seriously. Moonlight in Heaven has a prominent ripe mango note. If you want a photorealistic green mango scent, Green Mangy by NXN. I've never heard of that. I don't want to close that window. I want to leave that fragrance up. Let's see. Green Mangy. Let's see what pops up. Or maybe you meant mango. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Green Mango, NXN 2021. Let's pull up the split screen. Fresh, woody, spicy, citrus green. It's Indian orange, mango, and bergamot. Green leaves, green tea, orange blossom, fig, musk, and woods. Oh, I bet that is good. It's only got two ratings for scent, but they both rated it at a 10. Damn. Okay. 
men and women. This scent is fresh woody. Projection and longevity are above average. The production was apparently discontinued. Ooh, that's that's unfortunate. Similar, go figure, similar to Mango Thailand. So they smell similar, even though they don't have the exact same note breakdown. I'd sure like to try this one. What a great recommendation. Thank you. I'm going to see if what I can find out there. I'm going to leave that window open, too. Thank you. That's another one that's easy to discern, you know, tie to me. I, I appreciate that. Be, okay, yeah, I haven't tried it. I need to try it. If we're talking summer staples, we have to talk about Star Walker. That is the fragrance most synonymous with you, Tyler. And then you gourmand, you would recommend for warmer weather. I love them, but it's hard to find a situation that fits my collection in the summer. I don't really wear gourmands unless it's cold. Even fresher ones, because usually they're going to be kind of thick. Gourmands are going to be on the thicker side, so I don't really... I don't really reach for anything like that that I would consider gourmand. Um, oh, here we go. Chad, my man, you didn't have to do another super chat. You could have just messaged. But yeah, I'll send it to you. I'll, I'll send it to you on Facebook. So check Messenger. Let's see, copy. So no offense to any of my other friends that are here. I just I haven't talked to Chad in a while. And we have an opportunity. Paste. Oh, you did send send it to me on Messenger. I just didn't uh, I didn't have it pulled up. Now I had it, have it pulled up. So I, I sent you the link on Messenger, Chad. Hop on whenever you're ready, my man. Uh, I've reviewed Womo and Womo Silver Essence a couple years ago. That's the only two that I've reviewed. Chilling out. Let's get some love in the chat. I'm still in the middle of watching the replay. I'm part of. I'm at the part of Justin's Cartier praise. I'm watching free time. Okay, well, look at this beautiful ball bastard showing up making an appearance. How are you? Hold on. There we go. Okay. What's up? You? How's everything this weekend? It's all right. Sorry, I'm just going to turn on the light. No worries. Yeah, just a casual night. I'm, I'm here by myself. Wife went out for a walk. I'm, I'm by myself as well. My wife is at her grandmother's for the weekend about five hours down the road with my father-in-law. You get They'll the be back to yourself? That's awesome, dude. I wish I had that. Fuck, I've been doing a lot of stuff, though, man. I was It was a, a, a circus to get everything set. I had to push this back an hour and a half from when I originally was planning it because okay. I have chicken in the oven that's now done. I did the dishes. I did laundry, took care of the dog, fed her, took her out for a walk. What else did I do? I'm, I'm leaving stuff out. I went to the gym earlier. Been all over the place today. Stopped yeah. at Chipotle after, after I worked out. Oh, I was all over the place. Running. I went yeah. to uh, see Rush, so we filmed a few videos. And then I had to uh, uh, consultation with the family doctor for first family doctor in like fifteen fucking years. Damn. Yeah, just I'm one of those people. And well, you're then getting uh, old too. Sorry. You're getting old too. I'm 46, but I turned 46 last month. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, you definitely need one at this age. <laughs> I have one, and I'm I'm eight years younger than you, and I have one. And then we went grocery shopping, the wife and I. But uh, mm -hmm. we went to. Um, we went down this like where where when I first moved to Toronto, mm -hmm. there was uh, this basement apartment that I moved into. It was like a, a Filipino house, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm like, I just want to drive by. See, it's just like old neighborhood, right? And then I saw the owner, the uh, the man of the house. He's 83 years old. First time I saw him in 10 years. Damn. He didn't recognize me because like I'm I'm bald and I got the beard going now. You did have hair back when your channel first. Yeah, that was a lot slimmer too. Definitely back. did. So he's like, oh, he's like super surprised to see me. And mm -hmm. his wife is, um, she couldn't come out. She's on uh, apparently uh, dialysis, I think it's called, Oof. for the last three years. Sorry. I had a hard time when, like, when I moved there, like, he was fantastic, but his wife was like over the top religious. Mm -hmm. Like, me and religion just don't mix whatsoever. I don't care I what know. faith it is. Like my I, I wife follow is, you on social media. I see your posts. Oh yeah, I'm an asshole. I see, like my <laughs> wife is a devout Hindu, and I'm and I mm -hmm. respect her faith and everything. But me and religion, if you ask me to be a part of it, there's, there's no fucking. Well, here's a good one. <laughs> Did you see today's video though? I haven't watched any content yet today. I've been, like I said, it was busy Top today. Five fuckboy douchebag pregnancy video. I did. I I saw the post. I didn't watch the video yet because I typed it out. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to be a smart ass. Uh, I literally typed, looks like you finally found a topic centered around yourself. 
Yeah, yeah kind of, sort of. Huh? Like, ah, I'm not going to fucking be. You know there. what? I It's probably on Oda Jerks. I wouldn't be surprised, but I haven't been on there in like months. I don't even want to be like, why bother? I don't go on there. We're, we're not going to discuss no, them. They, they, they love you. They, they, oh, yeah. You are super sexy. They have a ma- massive heart on Rio. So I'm yeah, I know. <laughs> But, uh, I'm like, every I'm every anonymous troll's wet dream. <laughs> but but uh, I already lost like five subscribers. I don't care. Anymore. Really? Oh, Fuck it. Long as you're having fun, that's all the really. You know what? Right? This 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 community is kind of like I'm in and out of it. Like Donovan, mm-hmm. I met Don, uh, Donovan. Uh, he's in the chat. Like we met up. He lives about like an hour away from me. Yeah, mm-hmm. Donovan. So uh, he lives about an hour away from me. Um, he's a good dude. But the community is just, it's changed too much. Like, for me, I'm not about the influencers. And I'm fine with, like, the whole influencer bit. But it's just, like, it's the same random, like, same damn top ten. Just be shuffled, be titled, and you have a new, new video. You can make, like, five different videos with the same list, you know? You can, for sure. I try to mix it up as best I can, because what's the point in me having all of these if I'm not going to talk about them when they fit a topic or something, you know? Yeah. Now, to and I still reason, I don't want the individual review to die. That's well, how this started in the first I'm place. I'm old fashioned. That's what I do. So I know that I my my, ch- my channel is kind of dying because of that, and that's it is what it is, you know. But even when I do put out like a top five or a small rate, it just doesn't get the views like it once did. So I know that my like whatever you do, I try to do guy. Like I use I use some of your like your videos as like inspiration and I try to like make it my own. Mm-hmm. But it's just like all that tech shit, like all that analytical stuff, I don't understand. Yeah, the analytics is very important because because I guess you could call it the market getting flooded because there's so many channels now. Um, what, but you got to stay in favor. But then doing the individual reviews, if it's not something that's on the algorithm that's getting super popular oh, at the moment, but you'll like, get you out know, of you'll get out of faith. That's why a lot of the bigger channels they only do list videos because oh, they I keep know. them on the algorithm. And, and for me, I've unsubscribed from so many channels because it's just too much. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like like it's a list every day. Like, how, how can you make the same freaking thing every every? I, I do them. Don't get me wrong. And I no, always, I know, but like, always make do. them mean something to me. But you know? I think that this is like your main employment in a sense. Yeah, this is what I do. I don't you do see, I, I would love to have like more success. Like, not like like your type of success, but I I can't do social media as as a, a way of like I don't mind it as like a side hustle, but I couldn't do it as my main source because I find that social media is just exhausting. It absolutely is. You know, like I could only troll. Like, I, yeah. well, you know, I'm a troll. Well, yeah. I can only. I know, troll speaking of people, I can only troll so them. much, and then I get tired. It's it's exhausting. Like, <laughs> I, I, well, I speak, like sarcasm is my first language, but even after that, it's 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 exhausting. It's well, that's the, and I'm super sarcastic too. And I, anytime I clap back, I get I get flack for it. Like I'm just supposed to take it and say, "Please, sir, some more. Thank you for watching." Oh yeah, that's the same as my job. Like you yeah. know, like I, I get treated like like Tron. Donovan will tell you this because he's from Scarborough. It's it, Toronto is is not a great city. Like when people say Canadians are so friendly, it's like fuck off. <laughs> I serve them for a living. There's there, no, visiting and living are different. Like even my well, well, look, you and you and Rush are my favorite uh, local Canadians, and y'all are salt of the earth people. But boy, y'all can sure be some assholes and and smart asses at the same oh, time. Rush I think that's why I like you guys off, so much. Rush is one off camera too. Though. He's super. Oh good. yeah. I love Rush. Rush oh, yeah. knows that. Rush, if you see this, smooches. Yeah. No, no. He, he, the, the way that he and I we talked to, like the way that he and I talk to one another, we couldn't do it on camera because of like sounds like can- me and George. Cancel culture is just it's a real thing. That sounds like me and George. Oh fuck! Like yeah, I even did a video with yeah, uh, a, with another chat. There's two. There's two of us in the community. Mm-hmm. Like, Chad's uh, see uh, what is it? Uh, Chad Secrets. Secrets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we. Yeah, he's a good we, dude. So he lives like halfway point between Russia and I mm-hmm. and um, I, we did like a smell and rate of the best diesel fragrance you know to mm-hmm. his nose yeah I saw and no no I didn't release that one uh, I saw I saw you did a video with him though yeah we did three videos so mm-hmm. I saw that you were talking about mango earlier you might like Kenzo Um Night that's got a very prominent mango note see. Kenzo Om Night I want to make sure I put that here it's it's a little harder to come by um 2014 it, release yeah it, like uh we only i only found out that it, that it wasn't on like it wasn't available up until it doesn't even list mango on on parfumo kenzo no, all it's night on, right? it's, on, it's on fragrance uh on, on fragrance now fragrantica. fragrantica yes <laughs> yeah. um but like 
he like so when it came to the diesel video, he said that he likes this certain specific fragrance because it's like super spicy and he loves his spice his spices and his his spicy food. Mm -hmm. And because of cancel culture, I might get a little bit of backlash from like younger people. I just I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, done with it. I'm done. Like I'm the nice guy. Live your life, man. But exactly, like yeah. get off the internet. You know, <laughs> when he when he said. He likes that type of stuff. I did like a, a GIF of like a Punjabi Sikh doing this. Hell yeah. And I just It's like a two second like GIF. But that's know? all about spices though. And ex yeah. well, you know, but because of how. And then your wife the, is, is of is the nowadays. culture, you know. And I asked my wife, I'm like, you know, you're of Indian ancestry. Like, would you be, like are you offended by this? She goes, I'm not, but the younger generation might be. Yeah, it's the younger cats for sure. Oh, uh, even Rush and I, we were talking about with the younger cats. And in his community earlier today, he's like, yeah, no, they drive me nuts. <laughs> that's, that's what I hear from everybody. It's kind of across the board. It's, it's the world is changing drastically. Imagine when we're old men, like actually old men, what it's going to be like. The people that they're hiring at my company, they, there mm -hmm. used to be like the respect for the old times who, who put mm -hmm. in the years. Now it's, it's entitlement galore. Like, like, and it's not just young I'm people. Surprised. It, it's even like the 40 year olds. Like, I know you're not 40 yet. Really? My but generation. even like some of the 40 year olds that, that we're hiring just have this. Because I'm what they call elder millennial. Because I'm, I'm like the right at the brink of when millennials okay. started the generation. So I have okay. the, the values of Gen X and the knowledge of millennials. Yeah. I, the, I grew the, up the to the millennial stuff. age. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's the sign of the times that we're living in. The world is what it is, man. Let's, oh, let's you not, know what? next thing you know, you and I are gonna be talking politics, and let's not even let's not do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that on the channel. Because you and I, we both are like very politically different. <laughs> yes, we are, which goes to show you assholes that you can be completely different philosophies and get along great. I love this man, and we do well, you know what? Thing. Listen, I had to cut ties with a lot of people in the community mm -hmm. who are just like too extreme with their views. Because mm -hmm. I used to be like really I don't like the far either way. Yeah, and I had to cut ties with some of the people because it was bringing me back down that that road, and I was like, "No, it, it, that that shit messes you. It doesn't matter what side it is." Yeah, it's irrelevant. I, and, I judge. I, I like people for people. I I base how I feel on the individual. It has nothing to do with grouping, it. Just messes you, you up. Know? Yeah, if you watch too much of any Anything. news source, it just it yeah. messes you up for sure. So, so what's going on this evening, man? You got the house to yourself. What you eating for dinner? I, well, I got to get my notes ready for tomorrow's videos before we head over to the in-laws because it's Mother's Day. So uh, I got uh, three summer lists to do. And here oh, I am complaining about lists. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, no shit. That's, <laughs> I, that's very ironic. You can I, you about lists. Like, I got three list videos I'm filming tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I got uh, niche, cheapy, and I got like regular summer design. I so I have whole, a poll for my list. channel members right now, and one of them is uh, my cheapy list for the summer. I'm going to do a top 20. Right okay. now, that's uh, second in the voting. I'm probably only going to do like, well, I could do like a number of them, but I'll probably just do like 110 and one top five. Yeah, because I'm, I'm such a freshie guy. I like a third of my collection's freshies, you know. And and because of you, I like I ended up getting this one back in my collection. Oh, that's my baby right there. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't mind it. Really? I, I I plugged it in back in 2015, but it's just it's too heavy and lavender for me. It, it, it is a lot of lavender. That it's more powdery lavender and tonka bean combo than anything else. It's not it's not like all the other blues for sure. How, how did you like the Atkinson's lavender on the rocks that we were supposed to do so many months ago, but you never did it? You're right, I did, and I forgot about that. <laughs> But hey, our live stream, our Atkinson's live stream's done pretty good. It's like got like nine thousand views or something like that. Wow. Yeah. No, I did the Atkinson's video like uh, smelling right with Andrea back at uh, Centex mm -hmm. Bar. Lavender on the rocks was really good though. I did sample it. it, it it's good. It's just yeah. if you're a, a really you gotta like lavender though. Exactly. <laughs> it's heavy, heavy lavender for sure. Are you going to Centex Bar this year? It's possible. I don't know. Because we're not releasing any fragrances this year. Because like I don't know like if this I'm past going year to... we were packing pre-orders while Sin Explore was going. Yeah, on. I don't know if I'm going or not. I enjoyed we'll it, but there is something about it that I didn't like. I'm sure. <laughs> a, a, a lot of like. Mm, yeah. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of for sure pretentiousness. <laughs> yes. For sure. So. If you're just there for the people and not to kiss brands' asses, it can be a great. It can. Be oh no! It, it's also amongst the the influencers. Oh yeah, 
So. Look, the first time I went, I was bright eyed and bushy tailed and had not been jaded by this community yet. Oh, I'm already jaded, as you can tell. Too. Yeah. <laughs> You're one of the old dogs at this point. You know what? There, there's only a few of us that are like, there's Mark Robes away. Mitsu's back. He's doing live streams. Yeah, but I, I, Mitsu came in 2016, I think. Or yeah, but I mean, maybe, that's maybe 2015. That's seven years ago. Or if it's 2015, that's eight years ago. That's a while. But like you got Daver, Fragrance Bros. You got uh, Al, Street Sense. Who's yeah, Al's been doing some stuff here like and there. Joe Anthony's back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, I do stuff with Joe all the time. But, but he had some time off. Yeah. I'm like the only really consistent old timer. Steven still posts all the time. I know. You're right. You're right. I take that back. Yeah, Steven still posts all the time. So, but yeah, it's pretty much that's it. Yeah. When are you moving? September. I think you're supposed to move in uh, March or May. I was, but it just wasn't going to work out right. So we signed another six month lease here. And now we're moving in, in the fall, uh, in September. I, I My keep... wife's going at the end of the month to go look at our top five places and find a spot. Where Whereabouts? Florida, right? Panama City, Florida. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because uh, every now and then I go on Expedia when I'm bored, and I mm -hmm. like like Denver, Colorado. How much is it? It's crazy expensive. I, I really want to go to Denver, but it's uh yeah it, well it's cheaper than some of the other. And it's officially the homeless capital of the United States now. Oh wow. Yes. I wonder if my ex girlfriend is the is there then like homeless. Possibly. Because she's friends, homeless. There's a good I, chance. I had a, I had a an ex girlfriend from up here who moved. When she left me, she she moved down there. She met a guy from Aspen. Oh damn! <laughs> All right then. Uh, if I, I'll tell you the story off camera, but it's very Jerry Springer like. Oh, <laughs> did you tell me that story before? Because I want to say you've girl? referenced Jerry Springer in the past. About the Vietnamese no. girl. You may have. Okay. Because yeah. it's been a while since we've talked. It's been a few months. You know what? I keep to myself nowadays. No, no, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's been a while, so I'm not sure. It sounds familiar. That's why I'm saying that. Uh, you may have told me. If you were to start telling me, it would either refresh my memory or be new information. One of the two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my life is it's boring, but it's interesting at the same time. Boring, but interesting. I like that. That's a good way to look at it. Even when we were at the the, the doctors today, like the wife was scolding me like, like at least half a dozen times to behave myself. Cuba no references. What was the coup? What was the angel reference? I I'm a little behind on the comments. I'm just trying to catch up on. Yeah, I know. I, I I don't know. I wasn't referencing an angel for anything, but shout out to Angel if he sees this. I love Angel. He's oh that guy is so quick witted. Yeah, I love Angel. He's hilarious. And congrats if you see this Angel, which we've already talked about this. I talked to him here and there. Uh, both channels are growing pretty good now, especially as his jewelry channels like. I'm gonna pass his fragrance. Channel. First time I ever met that guy though was with Carlos BFO. Back when he was still fat. No, he wasn't that big. Because when he first started his channel, he was chubby. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. But, like he, like he wasn't that bad. He, he, no, no, I'm just saying, like his face was big, and he's just big transformation for Angel. He, Not everybody realizes. I, I know how Not everybody's been watching him for seven or eight years. You know? I know how he lost the weight. I'm not gonna say how. You know, it's that, <laughs> yeah. You know, but. Uh, when I first met him, no, he was not that. Uh, am I still buying Ferragamas? No. And to answer your question about Eugene, uh, no, we're, uh, we're two different people and everything. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really associate with anybody from Toronto except for Rush and mm -hmm. like the new guy, Chad. Yeah, and Chad. Manny, we're cool, but we just, we never meet. Uh, and to answer that question about Christo, he actually yeah, moved Christo. to Edmonton. Oh, so he's nowhere near you anymore. No, no. He, he's, he's completely left like the whole community as a whole. Gotcha. Yeah. That makes sense. Low-key street sense, underrated legend. I agree. Al's when good I dude. first met Al, I was, trust me, I was fanboying. <laughs> yeah, Al's cool dude. He's still yeah. wearing that same custom hat from years ago, too. Yeah, he is. That's, that's his hat. That's going to be me one day because I have those custom TLTG Reviews hats. Down the road, they'll be like that because yeah. I wear them from time to time. So, commented on this vid, but what's your favorite Elysium clone? In the moment, I'm enjoying Trillium from Amir because it's just so fresh. It's just not a strong performer, but uh, it's even fresher than Elysium, apart from Cologne. Uh, but I would say overall, Sammy Anders Blue Sapphire is still my favorite. If I'm going to wear something that one Elysium but not spray Elysium, that's that's the one because it's a little different. It's a little bit different from Elysium. You you're not really big on the clones, huh, Chad? I, you know what, I, I don't mind a few RMOFs. I, I have, you know what, here, here. 
I have, I have like these here. Mm -hmm. I only have uh, them like the there be because I uh, I did a top five last week. Mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to do more outdoor videos because this is pretty dull. You know, like just uh, the the uh, the gray wall. So I'm trying to do more outdoor stuff. But uh, so I, um, it's like Beetlejuice. We we mentioned Joe Anthony a few times, and here he is. <laughs> I the the Armas, I I have two bottles. The other uh, three are rushes. Mm -hmm. I'm only keeping them right now because I'm supposed to uh, meet with uh, another uh, rap guy from uh, from the area. Mm -hmm. He's actually American, but he lives up here now. Oh no shit. He's Puerto Rican. We don't have a lot of Puerto Ricans in Toronto. We don't like unless they're like they. Well, that's quite Puerto a trip to go from Puerto Rico, and like if he's native of it, anyway. No, it's he's actually from Miami. Believe that's it or still, not, it's still pretty far south. I know, yeah. but like, like the whole. Like, I've only met two Puerto Ricans in Toronto, and like the first guy, and I, I'm not saying it's. I didn't say this, but he did. He said it. I'm Puerto Rican, and I don't even play for the Jays. <laughs> One of the few Puerto Ricans in town. I don't play for the Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I'm probably gonna use off. that line when I uh, do the video with uh, Ulysses. That's his name. So, any plans for the week besides these uh, these summer lists that you have going on? Just this weekend, some some filming. Well, I filmed Cool Water and Tents with Rush. We did mm -hmm. uh, Mansara, <coughs> Hindu Kush. Which I thought, like I got, I got my. I, I, I wasn't going to bring it up. I didn't know if you wanted to spoil it and have people watch the video. If, but if you can tell us, what do you think, man? Tell this, us. This this decant sucked. It's spoiled. Oh, I shit. like when when I wore it the, the the two times, and that's all I was able to manage. Mm -hmm. I could not deal with it. And then when I smelled Rush's bottom, like my mine must have spoiled because it yeah, smells it's, really good. It's it's very pleasant and green. It's not the name will will mislead you. It'll well, make, it, make you think it's this heavy marijuana smell. When it's really not. All and green. that's what, well, that's what this smells like. Really? This is like super medicinal and green. And I can't. Yeah, the actual bottle is not, not that bad. No, it's not. But it is green, but it's nice and fresh. Like mm -hmm. this is just super medicinal. It's really medicinal. And like when I, when I, it's pretty thick. So it's almost. Oh yeah. The alcohol has evaporated. It must have went bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, cause it was very shimmery on my skin. Oh shit. But yeah, I got I, a few decants that have done that. I enjoyed it. And then, uh, the other one that we did was, uh, wow. What is the other one? I forget. There was only three <laughs> videos though. Well, we should do something in the next couple of weeks. Any, anything interesting that you think, uh, we should do. I don't have anything in mind. Uh, we can do top five Patriot fragrances. <laughs> Dick, no. <laughs> I already filmed the video like that, like last year. I know you did. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's kind of a bit of a. Tire. I remember when you filmed it. We talked. My, about my it. sense of humor is not yeah. isn't acquired one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Let's, we could think of something. Want to do another Mansara? You got any Manseras recently? Whether samples uh, or bottles besides Hindu Kush? I got one. One that's recent. Oh no. That, that was in my last uh, haul video. Hey, if you have you smelled anything from these from this brand? I have eight zero one. I love it. I haven't oh, done this a full brand is, one either. This, this brand is fantastic. They are. I have three zero one, six zero one, and eight zero one of the three bottles I have. We could do that if you want. I have that. Oh, no, I know. I already filmed it. I did, a, I did a first impression with Rush. I haven't released the, okay. uh, the video yet. I did, we did it back in March. No worries. Uh, man, I don't even know, guy. I'd have. I, you know what? How about do you have uh, Perry Ellis portfolio gray? No, I have okay. Elite and Red. Elite is the blue one, right? Yes, it smells like Eagle East, but sweeter. Yeah, no, I did that one years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I did the red one recently. If you get a bottle of that, it's actually kind of nice. Which one is it? Portfolio gray? Yeah, it's the gray one. Let's see how much that one I'll buy it right now. I think it's got green notes, musk, pear, and it's gonna it's gonna have the typical wooden in it, of course. So of course a bunch of pants pop up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> gray with an E or a gray with an A? E. Okay, yeah, that's what I, I had typed. Let me type in the word fragrance. It's not even giving me an option. 
on the side over here. No, it's not popping up on eBay. I'll find it somewhere. Let's see. Uh, Hold on. I'll be right back. No worries. Yeah, that might be one that I need to grab in this fragrance net haul I'm going to be doing. Let's see if they have it. Let's see. I'll type in Periolis Gray. Let's see what we get. <laughs> no portfolios, huh? I'm trying to get my uh, my Perry Ellis numbers up a bit because I focus too much on certain brands like Ferrari, Ferragamo, and stuff like that. If you there we go. Hold on, here we go. Is this it? This is what it looks like, though. That's exactly what I'm looking at. They got it for 17 bucks on Fragrance Net, and I'm planning on buying some fragrances after this stream, so I'm adding it to cart. So look, at, go, the, look at the no breakdown line. <clears throat> Let's take a look. There's I'm also Perry Ellis Fuego. Whoops. Perry Ellis portfolio. Are you use uh perfume mostly? Most of the time, yeah, because I hate Fragrantica. Uh yeah, I know. You're talking about the trolls, I get it. Yeah, uh, well. Rare occasion, apparently we're gonna have to go to this shithole. <laughs> there it is. Portfolio for men. Aromatic lavender, spices, fruits, a little powder. I bet this is good. Oh, it's more of a spring scent. But yeah, pear. Ooh. Okay. Must pear, coriander. So a few different spices, coriander, basil, and cardamom. This is one that you'd like. I, I want. Yeah, I think I think I will. So we could do this that one if you want. Yeah, I, I mean I'm gonna buy it after this, after the stream. I'm buying some stuff from Fragrance Net. Oh, this is what I did with Rush, Bulgari put on. Oh, Bulgari man. So if MG, if you're in the chat, that probably just made your day. So I have a viewer that's been wanting me to try that. What do you think oh, about it? Bulgari put on, classy, uh, very gentlemanly, not abrasive, good good stuff. I have a regular viewer that's been on my ass for like two months about that fragrance. I got a guy who's uh who's telling me about another one as well. I keep forgetting what it is, but mm. I'm looking at my collection here to see what I could possibly do. Shit, man, I got too much stuff. So Gian, yes, uh big fan. That's actually one of the best from Cremo. There's the shower gel is actually really good too. And I've also done the exfoliating body bar from them. It's very good. Which I have the fragrance too. I just I haven't worn it in a long time. <clears throat> oh, here's here's one that I think that you should look into, or just the lineup. Okay, Dunhill. So the Amalfi Citrus interests me a lot. It for me, it kind of reminds me of like Tom Ford and Rolly Portofino. For our that, that's what it gets cycle. compared to from what I've seen. So a lot of people are saying no, it doesn't, but it does have that vibe but which like, one is that one this is nordic fougere okay and what's this, special about that one talk to me uh kumquat bamboo leaf. sold already uh i think sandwood i don't know kumquat is beautiful in a fragrance it's, it's a fougere but a, it like lavender is not listed well on mm -hmm. fragrantica it's not listed but you do get like a lavender feel and is it there has sage like, in it it might let me look it up myself Take a look. Dunhill. It's got basil. So basil, cardamom, black pepper. Mind you, I'm I'm using Fragrantica. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm I'm already on there, so I'm just pulling it up. Bamboo leaf, kumquat, geranium, vanilla, sandalwood, and patchouli. Rush really liked this. There we go, Nordic Fougere. Woody it's aromatic spices. Very highly rated. It's getting some praise on that shithole. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> That's just it, what I call it. <laughs> it does have like a lavender is not listed, but it, it feels like there's. A I gotta lot. say though, this note breakdown. Let me let me show everybody else. This note breakdown looks nice. It is a really nice scent, and it that heart. Like, the The mid notes look really good. That looks and, like a good combination. And like the name itself, like Nordic Fougere, like Nordic, right? You're thinking mm -hmm. already that it's gonna be like a. A cold kind of fragrance it does have like you lived in the winter time in, in colorado so you know what yeah. how the winters can be that yeah, bracing sure. feel in the mountains 
it has that. It's it's actually quite nice. This uh this looks really good. Let me see how much that's going for. Oh, it's it's pretty cheap in the US. Let's see, might as well add that to the cart. Did you ever add any Atkinsons to your collection? I haven't bought any yet. So it's 65 bucks from them, but it looks really freaking good. And the presentation, if it, okay, if you get 65 bucks with that box, that's that's a steal, man. We, like Let's, unfortunately our dollars. I mean, it's there. only it's only six dollars. It's actually sold out, but the price was six dollars less at fragrance buy because they're usually a little bit cheaper. But yeah, that's you know what's funny about the them is that they work with only Americans, and they're, they're really they don't work with any of you guys in can't, connect. Uh, but can't say Canada apparently. In they're Canada? based out of Toronto, and they. And they they're only working with the Americans. You, I don't know if they work with you, but they work Matt, with me. They work, they work with Justin. They work with a bunch of people. Yeah, they they, they I'm don't. Sure work they work with, with Ashton. They work with all kinds of people. No Dallas. Canucks. No Canucks. Really? I wonder yeah. why. Uh, it's probably because like the like the the biggest name like like subscriber wise would be like Robes of White. Mm -hmm. But Mark is. Uh, He's, he does deals with fragrance acts. Yeah, he did fragrance acts for the longest time. Yeah, then it's uh, if if we're going by like uh, subscribers, then it's like Manny, but Manny is like in comes and goes, right? He does what he pleases. Mm -hmm. Then it's me. Uh, then it's uh, Eugene I think it's called like Josh from the Sixth Sense or something like that. I've mm -hmm. never met him. And then it's like Eugene, but Eugene yeah. is strictly just yeah. He's he's very very specific with what he yeah. likes. So let, let's see what else that I need to review. We got we got him getting some exercise, guys. He's back and forth. Hey, I need that, okay? Shit. I'm an overweight motherfucker. Hey, are you a fan of Kenneth Cole? I am. I am. Very certain certain ones. Uh, do you, have, do you have I know you're a fan of that entire line. I haven't tried Unlimited. I have uh, the original. I have Hero. And I think that's the only two. I got the latest I don't one. Have I don't know or anything like that. I have the latest one. I don't know what it's called though. Uh, I got it when I was in uh, New York last December. Mm -hmm. This for a tester bottle is tw was twenty four dollars Canadian, so that's really? less than twenty bucks American. Damn. And the only guy that, that I didn't know that reviewed it was BFL. Two hmm. two days May before Christmas. Christmas. Two days before. So if you want, we could do this one. We could do two if you want. We want sure to do one for each other. One on each channel. Yeah, I was I was just saying that. Mankind Unlimited. There it is. It is full presentation for twenty three ninety nine ninety three. I'm gonna get a. I mean, a fifty ml is like a dollar thirty less. I'll just get the hundred ml. <laughs> I'll never go through it, but like I've only smelled this maybe twice, cart. but it's actually kind of nice. I'll, and and for the question that I pinned last or the comment, I'll I'll go through what I'm gonna buy before we sign off of the live stream because I've just I'm, been adding stuff to cart. I got three fragrances in there right now. Four, I have three. You know what? Let me pull up my uh, hotmail because I, I I have to put an end to my spending. <laughs> but uh, I got like the last purchase uh -huh. was uh, Kenzo Low Low Kenzo mm -hmm. and Low Two Kenzo. So I'm, I'm trying to get my Kenzo numbers up because I only did like one. Well, I did two. One of them I deleted because it was like from like when I first started. I'm working on Ohm EDT right now. I have the EDP. I just haven't opened it yet. I, I, I need to get some decants of that just because like I, I need to put a, a, a hole so through my good. spending. So. It's really good. It's it's very melon aquatic, green, and powdery. Not super powdery, just soft powder. It's really nice. There's one uh, Kenzo Jungle I hear. Is very like, pleasant. Super good. It's, it's an older fragrance, but mm -hmm. it's like spicy and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But there's uh, there's another one that I w want. I'm looking at it. Low Patekenzo colors looks good too. But at this point, I'm like, you know what? I, I'm kind of like done. It's 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 forty bucks USD, but like you got to put the conversion rate and everything. That's different for us, right? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I featured in a few videos, and I even used it in a blind smelling rate to confuse Justin one time. He thought it was niche. It was hilarious. I remember <laughs> that. On a test strip. Huh? I remember that. Yeah, it was it was hilarious. Um, but no, I haven't I haven't done an individual review on it. I've featured I, it several times, though. I think it's that one or this one that Rush 
really enjoys mm-hmm. that blue one. It's portfolio elite, right? That's elite. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think it's I, great. I, I call it portfolio blue because it's just because it, it shows up at our at Ross Dress for Less here in the states for fifteen dollars all the time. It's a great pickup for fifteen dollars. Did you know that there's a black one? Mm-hmm. I see it all the time. I just haven't picked it up. I see it all the time. I have it. I just haven't. I, I got it when I was in Hawaii back in March. I haven't opened it yet. I was about to say what's it similar to, but no, never mind. Uh, an underrated line. Oh man, I'm moving around. Burning some calories here, people. <laughs> uh, Indeed, you are, sir. You know. Oh. Okay. I'm done moving after this. <laughs> but you got anything from this lineup? Hold on one second. So George decided to go ahead and put Coco Local Live for pre-sale. Let me drop the link for anybody that wants to check it out. Copy. One sec, big dog. Oh, I think uh, Sac. Okay, uh, I'm. I'm, sorry, I'm not I'm good at pronouncing stuff. Sacastic mm-hmm. Voyage. Mm-hmm. I think the new one is Mankind Rise. That's the latest one from. Yeah, the they game. have five total that popped up when I started typing it in. For uh, yeah, fragrance, that's the latest one, I believe. but do you have anything from this lineup? No, I love the bottle though. The blue one's beautiful. So this this one here is like a spicy sweet scent. This is this and the other one, which is just like a gray bottle, very mm-hmm. much like this, but like you can actually, it's kind of opaque like this one here. Mm-hmm. They're both like uh, clean, fresh, but the gray one's a little bit more classical in some ways, because like, of that geranium. This is more like a blue body wash. Oh, very shower gel scent kind of thing. Yeah, yeah but like they're like these are like pretty prominent in the US, like your your stores. Up here. I, like, I don't know if I've ever seen it. I, or at least the box. I don't know if I've ever seen it. We, um, one that I do enjoy, I didn't really care for it at first, but it grew on me was the the regular version of Periellus Aqua. Everybody re- keeps telling me I need to get the extreme. But Periellus Aqua is actually pretty good. Yep, there it is. Yeah, the extreme is good too. For me, it was it was more of a body wash though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like it's watery, but it's also like very creamy. Oh, I, I don't. Know it. I, I sold my my bottle to my. No, buddy I'm talking about that one in your hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, if on me, it's it's watery and airy at first, and then it dries down a little creamy and woody. Have you smelt America 2019? I have not. I've heard it's kind of like a Ventus. Yeah, I, I'm going to DC in uh, July. And you're gonna do some douchebag ass video with? <laughs> Come on, man! I'm not. I know like, you. I know I you. Listen, I'm not gonna do that type of shit in Washington. Sure, you're not. Yeah. Deep, okay. Yeah. Sure, you're um, not. You're gonna stand in front of the White House with that bottle and do some fucking hillbilly ass fucking voice. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> no, but like I am. Like when I do go to Washington, I am bringing that. I, I, it, I'm cheesy. I'm just. I'm at that age mm. where the jokes are just not as funny as they used to be. And because they're dad jokes at this point, exactly. But yeah. I'm bringing uh, the Periels 2019. I'm bringing like uh, Tommy Hilfiger Freedom. You know, like there's there's a bit of and you know, but see, I'm not going to be a dick. I'm just just doing actual. Sure, you're not. No, but no, I wasn't planning. I'm not going to be a dick. I'm not. I'm just saying. You know what? It's a, there's a pattern. I'm in DC. Like you got all this. We have people history. laughing in the chat. <laughs> My sense of humor is a warp one. You know. Yeah. Like my wife, it's like, very like, dry and matter of fact, with a little bit of cheesy. Well, like Rush says, like my my humor is kind of like um, George and um, Chris's because they're British, right? That makes sense, yeah, because they they're very they're very dry humor as well. And and yeah. we're a Commonwealth country, so like our mm-hmm. humor is very much like theirs. Mm-hmm. But when you throw in like the French Canadian aspect, it, it's very so Monty cool. Python of you. Yeah, <laughs> but no, I do plan on bringing those two fragrances just. For reviewing purposes, no comedic, nothing. I'm just gonna say, you know what? I'm in DC. You know, history. When you think of like Washington, you think of like liberty. You think of history, freedom, all that kind of stuff. So, it's cheesiness. But I plan on doing. I, I want to do videos in front of like certain landmarks, right? I want to do like uh, in front of the Lincoln Memorial, mm-hmm. uh, the White House, if I can, or this. I don't know if it's called the. Senate. You'll be able to be outside the gate. You know, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Though. That's what I'm saying. You'll be able to get a good shot of the White House. Yeah, like I, I, I do want to do like a, as much as I can when I'm there. Um, I am meeting up with uh, Speak of the Devil. That's Rush. Um, I'll be damned. No, he's not in the chat. No, I messaged him. Earlier. No, no, he would have said something if he was in the oh, chat. Okay. Yeah. 
I, uh, I'm meeting up with, um, oh shit, what's his name? I'm drawing a blank. I, I've known him for years. <laughs> it's because I'm a little bit worked up right now. But uh, we did a, a video. I was dressed as, the, as my Nishnov character. And mm -hmm. um, God, what, what's his name? Roman. He smells like Rome. So he lives in the mm. D.C. area. Ogun, unfortunately, can't meet up because it's. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I, I'm going to like he says, I can't make it up until Sunday. And I have to leave that Saturday because it's my, uh, my my mother-in-law's birthday. So 70th birthday. So I'm taking an earlier flight than I want than I wish to mm -hmm. just so I could be home by like 12. And we just go like we'll go to the, my in-laws right from there. I talked to I talked to Ogun today. It's funny that you say that. I was I just started my workout and he called me to tell me what he thought about Mincera French Riviera because he just got it. It's nice. Yeah, it's it's very pleasant. I like it, it quite a bit. Really nice. It's a it's a softer person. feel than I expected. It's not as in your face aquatic as the name and the color scheme might make you think. You okay, know? Donovan, I take offense to that. <laughs> I take I'm offense to that. <laughs> He'll tell you that I'm like the, the way that I am with you right now is the way that mm -hmm. I am in person. Like, but when I present myself generally, like and it's just myself, I'm a I'm a lot more toned down, a lot more mm -hmm. PC, if you will, yeah. just because um, I have my employer watching, so I can't be over the top like I used to be. Well, one of these days we're gonna get to do a video in person together. Oh, of course, one absolutely. of these days it's gonna happen. Oh, of course, but mm -hmm. the, like generally, I'm a lot more toned down. Like the video that I did today. I was just feeling sassy and I was like, I'm just letting out a little bit of frustration, cause, like poking fun at the influencers and mm -hmm. the same stuff. But generally I'm a lot polit more politically correct because of like a, a couple years ago, I had someone from California call my job. They found out where I live, where I, I work. And yeah. So because of that, I'm a lot more uh, sensible, if you will. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Tell Chad that Canada is America's dandruff and that I'm disappointed he's not wearing denim. <laughs> well, sometimes living in Canada is like living is like living uh, living uh, on top of a meth lab, you know? Yeah. Good old America. <laughs> that's, that's fair. United that States of America. <laughs> yeah, that is fair. As a non-meth addict, I do not take offense to that statement, but understand uh, the accuracy. You know what? It doesn't matter where in the world. The world is just messed up right now. It's, a, it's an interesting time to be alive. For sure. Everywhere in the world is messed up. I agree completely, my man. Oh, my God. So that's a good note for us to end on. We did a little over an hour and a half. Chad, I want to thank you for jumping on and just kicking it with me for a little bit. It was good to talk to you, I man. generally don't do these these live streams no more. But you know. I know. I know. I was surprised when you were like, yeah, send me the link. I was like, uh, oh, you know okay. what? I, I'll send, like, I'll send like uh, some money every now and then. Just oh, share. also, you don't have to do the super chats, man. Uh, I appreciate I know, that. But uh, generally, the, the live streams I don't really do. I'm a lot more like there's only certain groups that I would rather do those the streams with because mm -hmm. the audience and like the person itself. Like, I'm not a part of any clique, I don't want to be no, part of any group or anything. I just, you know, like, um. Uh, you know who I'm probably talking about. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When when yeah. when Cuddles did that video and he posted it on on Joey's, I just no, that was it. It's all good. I, I got ousted from a stream yesterday because I'm friends with the group. Literally, oh. clicked the link and got booted from backstage, who? and messaged him after and said, "Really, this is what we're doing now?" Yeah, and got a big explanation what? about because I'm friends with certain people that we send, can't be friends anymore. Send it to me. <laughs> In private, yeah. I'm curious. So you guys can let your minds wander, but I was very disappointed in this person. Yeah, very no, disappointed. I, I generally just keep to myself nowadays. Because yeah. of, uh, I try. Look, I try to be friendly with everyone because there's, in my mind, there's no room for the pettiness that we deal with. It's ridiculous. Yeah. This is a perfume hobby, like I said earlier. It's not the most masculine hobby, and some of these people show that it's not the most masculine hobby. I just get I, for me, it's it's high school. Like I was part of the high school behavior at one time. Mm -hmm. with like some of the gossip and the pettiness and i'm like you know what i just don't want nothing to do with it. Yeah. high school for me was not a good time and then when i came into this community i was accepted and embraced and then you just kind of be you be a part of that and i don't want to be part of that no more donovan yes we can do another video when you come to mississauga because oshawa is kind of far same with scarves 
So I gotta, I gotta shut it down. My, uh, my cousin, they're all messaging me, blowing me up. Cause I actually have just to show you guys, I actively have a live draft going on right now. And apparently it's my pick. Yeah. See, look, there's where TLTG comes from guys. See how it says the legendary team gates. <laughs> That's TL, what TLTG means. Football. Yeah. Yeah. Football, American football, your favorite. So I got to shut the stream down. They blow. That's what my watch going off was. My oh, cousin yeah. was calling me. All right. I looked. I got my phone on silent. I looked, and I got a bunch of text messages. No so worries, guys. It was good. I got to shut it. it down. But good Chad, thank you so down. much for jumping on with me. Okay. Um, I'm going to be ordering these fragrances here in just a few minutes, and uh, we'll so do some you let me know which weeks. one you want to do for your channel, and the other one we'll do for mine. Well, how about this? Since they were your ideas, you let me know which one would you prefer, and I'm good with either. We'll do it whatever way you want well, to do it. Because it doesn't matter. Like whatever we do for your channel, I will we'll eventually do. It let's me. let's do the Perry Ellis on my channel then. How about that? Okay. I, I haven't done a whole lot of Perry Ellis individual reviews. Okay. Yeah. I will be doing this one for my channel regardless, but I'll mm -hmm. we'll do it for yours first, and then I might do this one with Rush. Sounds good to me. All right, cool. So with that said, everybody, I appreciate you all being here. Thank you to everybody that super chatted. Thank you for hanging out with me. Make sure you hit the like button on your way out if you're not subscribed to a gentleman's journey. You really should be. Definitely check out Chad. I'll tag him in the description below right mm -hmm. after the stream ends. Y'all have a good one, guys. Hey, Gar.